Charity. Noah, this is your Uncle Marlon. Hi, Uncle Marlon. Hello. You know, Diane doesn't really like members of the public being back here, so... We're not. We're family, aren't we? Hmm. What do you want? Surely I can come and see my favourite cousin without being accused of having an agenda. Oh, no, you know what? I'd love to stop and chat, but I've got three curries and a spotted dick to get out, so... <gasps> well, Noah will help you, won't you, darling? Yeah. Oh, no, it's... No! Oh, come on, Marlon. I won't ask if I want desperate. The playgroup won't take him today, and I I've got to get into town to see a solicitor. And that's my problem. Why? Well, I don't have anyone else. And you are his uncle. Well, sort of. And he'd be as good as gold, won't you, sweetie pie? No, uh, uh, Charity, do not... Oh, oh yes, I can. Charity, come back. Do not leave this child in my kitchen. Charity, do... Noah, don't, don't do... Noah, put the mallet down. Put... Hey, table six is still waiting for the steak and chips. Right. You all right? Yep, yep, just looking for something really important. I, uh... I'll tell you what, you get away with murder. <laughs> That's one of the perks of being the boss's sister. <laughs> anyway, when are we going on a night out? If anyone needs a blog, it's for you. Yeah, me and men are a bit of a disaster area. <laughs> Don't even want to go out there, really. Excuse me, nature calls. Oh, couldn't it have called before the food arrived? <laughs> There's, uh, someone under the table. Um. Hiya. We made it home then. I've just been up to the pub. Where's Noah? He fell asleep watching a DVD, so I took him up. How did it go at the solicitors? How did you know? <sighs> Marlon. What's all that about? I just need to find out where I stand. I thought I might have been due somewhere. From Michael? Of course, it was a complete waste of time. Apparently, his adultery and the house I've been living in for the past two years means absolutely nothing unless we were married. Hang on. Why are you chasing him for money? Oh, come on, Debbie. I can't live on fresh air. I've told you I'll sort you out. Yeah, but at some point I'm going to have to go and stand on my own two feet. You're going? Not straight away. When? I don't know. When I've got a job, somewhere to live. You've got somewhere to live. When were you going to tell me or were you just going to disappear? Oh, come on, Debbie. You knew I wasn't going to hang around forever. I've got to go and build a life for me and Noah. There is nothing for me in this village. What about me? And Sarah, don't we count for anything? Or have we not got enough cash to keep you hanging about? Oh, come on, Debbie. No, get off me! If you don't want to know me, then just say it. I can take the rejection. I'm used to it. Debbie, you're my daughter. Of course I want to know you. I love then you. Then why are you leaving? I really trusted you this time. I chose you over my dad, and you've just thrown it back in my face. Why should you do it to me over and over again? You all right? Yeah. Look, I just want I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, I do. I need you to understand why I've got to get away. I have messed up so many times in this village. There's reminders everywhere I turn. Carl, Jimmy, Zach, Lisa, your dad? Me? No. No, not you. You're about the only thing that's turned out right. Oh, Debbie, you've built a brilliant life for yourself here. And you don't want to be a part of that. If I stay, I'll just ruin everything. That's why I've stayed away. So where are you going to go? You're just going to drag Noah from place to place? I'll find somewhere. Or someone. I'm sorry. I feel like I just get snapshots of you that I can look at for a minute and someone takes them away again. <sighs> Noah even got to know you. 
I am never going to be the mom you want me to be. I know. But we can still be friends, can't we? I'm not asking you to stay forever. I know that's not going to happen. I just want to spend a bit of time with you. I'm begging you, Mum. Stay. Please. 